Hi, this is Walford Kaufman bringing you another devotion. Once again, I'm in an empty sanctuary, but it's Tuesday morning, so <laughs> that's really not the problem. But I wanted to be here to just kind of get an emphasis across because I want to tell you, it might be hard here at our church to get people back into the sanctuary. We have been blessed that during this coronavirus and we could not meet together in the sanctuary to have a drive-in worship service. And the Lord is really blessed during this time. But what I've heard many people say is it might be hard getting back in the sanctuary. That means they got to put their makeup on, they got to fix their hair, and that's coming from the guys. Just kidding. But folks have dressed, you know, uh, very comfortable. Uh, some of them, I think, have been in their pajamas, but thank goodness for tinted windows. But uh, I know once that time comes, they'll be right back in church. But have we gotten spiritually lazy during these days? And I'm not talking about clothing. But spiritually, inside, have we gotten lazy and forgot that we are still to go? The Great Commission, the Great Commission to go into all the world did not have a little exclusion down there except during the time of the coronavirus, the COVID-19. No, I, it says go into all the world, and that's what we're still to do. Maybe through the Facebook, maybe through uh, emails, maybe through the telephone. Maybe hollering over the, the fence, not that close, six foot distance, but we can still share the gospel message. Uh, I found this scripture, and I've been reading the ESV a little bit because different translations kind of wakes you up and say, oh, that's what that really means? But listen, listen to this. This is from Luke 12, uh, verse 35 starting. Stay dressed for action. And keep your lamps burning, and be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast, so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. And so it kind of tells us something, that we need to be ready even during this COVID-19 endeavor that we're going through. Would the, would the Lord return during this time? Would that trumpet blow and we see the skies parting and here comes Jesus? And we've been spiritually lazy because we're not to do this and not to do that. We've, the government's told us what all not to do. But the scripture has also told us what to do. In the Michael Slaughter's book, The Unlearning Church, he had this. The enemy's purpose is to distract us to a lower level of living until we die. The enemy. Could Satan be using COVID-19 to close down the church. Well, he might can close down the buildings, but the Satan cannot close down the church. That's you that has Jesus in your heart to go and to share the message. Is the enemy's, enemy's purpose to distract us? We are distracted. Let's put our eyes back on Jesus. And the truth is the church can be stronger. Believers can be doing more during this time than they ever have. Put our eyes back on Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for each one that's watching this, that's listening to this, that today they will see the power. They will see how we need to be serving. And Lord, you've not closed the doors. You've opened the doors for more opportunities to share the message. And Lord, let us be the church. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Lord, thank you what you're going to do in our lives as we just listen, as we obey, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, go be the church.